In this video, we are going to uh, demonstrate the Taint Analysis Framework and uh, its uh, ability to uh, prevent uh, uh, data leakage attack. Uh, we uh, created uh, uh, a, um, a ticket reservation scenario here and we have already provisioned it. Uh, now we need to enable uh, the Taint Analysis Framework. Uh, in this uh, UI, we already uh, have wired the Taint Analysis uh, with the um, uh, PME Framework. It means uh, whenever we enable the um, Policy Enforcement mode, it uh, also automatically activates the Taint Analysis Framework. Uh, now, uh, it should be that the Taint Analysis uh, should be enabled. Um, let's uh, uh, start uh, the um, client side by uh, uh, query for uh, tickets from Seattle to Indianapolis. Um, here uh, <coughs> we receive a list of uh, um, tickets uh, from the TR1 uh, and uh, uh, now we go to uh, the attack tab and uh, we want to attack TR1 here um, by uh, data leakage attack. It means uh, whenever we activate the data leakage on the TR1, uh, we change the TR1 in a way uh, that uh, it will try uh, to um, leak the mm, mm, private information of the client, uh, unauthorized private information of the client to uh, one of the airline services. Um, and uh, the Taint Analysis Framework is running uh, at the same time on the uh, TR1 and it tries to um, detect all the flow of information uh, in the TR1 uh, mm, service and whenever it uh, tries to leak uh, mm, some of the uh, tainted data mm, uh, then it detects it and prevents uh, from happening that uh, uh, service invocation. Uh, now let's uh, come back to the list of uh, tickets. For example, uh, mm, we, can, uh, we want to uh, uh, mm, confirm the ticket from the American airline here. Uh, but since uh, TR1 uh, is under attack and it leaks the information, it wants to leak information to AA1, uh, then uh, the Taint Analysis should prevent this uh, conver confirmation from happening. And we see that um, there is no confirmation uh, output, uh, conf confirmation me uh, message here. Uh, and uh, if we disable this attack, uh, here we can uh, select this uh, uh, TR1 and uh, disable the attack. By disabling the attack, uh, this uh, operation should be um, uh, successful. And we see that uh, we can uh, successfully um, use uh, this uh, confirmation mechanism to uh, confirm the ticket. Uh, let's continue the scenario by um, attacking again the uh, TR1. Um, we select TR1. Here uh, we see that uh, TR1 has, has been selected. Uh, we uh, enable the data leakage attack, and this time uh, we can try uh, mm, uh, we can try uh, confirming a ticket from Delta from another airline, and uh, we see that it's again, it again has prevented uh, this uh, invocation from happening. Uh, and if we look at the session report here, uh, we see that uh, in the session report uh, it says the data leakage has been prevented. So um, we can uh, the data analysis framework can identify uh, such data uh, leakages uh, uh, and uh, report them back to the user. 